What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Danny Approved. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about which form of cardio is better for burning body fat. There's many forms of cardio. Um, there's high intensity interval training and high intensity interval training is when you're basically uh, training at a really fast pace, as fast as you can, and then you bring your heart rate down. It's usually something like a minute on, a minute off of something like sprinting, using the battle ropes and going really fast. Um, using a bike and going at extremely fast pace and then taking it down. And then you have things like LISS, which is a low intensity steady state cardio. And low intensity steady state cardio is something like going for a brisk walk, uh, doing a long duration walk at an incline. And you could also use the bike as a form of cardio when you're doing LISS. Then you also have moderate intensity steady state cardio, which is basically doing something like a more intense jog, not where you're bringing your heart rate all the way up, but to the point where you're basically, you know, huffing and puffing and getting, breaking a good sweat. That duration would be probably in the ballpark of like 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so which one is the best one for burning body fat? Now, honestly, all three are fantastic for burning body fat but it depends on what you're more accustomed to and what you like doing more. High intensity interval training is fantastic because what it does is it's great for spiking your metabolism and it's great if you're pressed for time. So if you feel like, you know what, I really don't feel like doing my cardio for an hour or 45 minutes or even 30 minutes, I have a very short amount of time. High, inten high intensity interval training is fantastic for you especially if you're somebody who wants to get it over with in about 15 minutes or under. You do something like sprinting, one minute on, one minute off, or you could even do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or even a Tabata style training, which is basically training at a high intensity for 40 seconds and then bringing your heart rate down for about 20 seconds and then repeating the cycle. Now, moderate intensity. Moderate intensity, definitely another fantastic form of cardio. Uh, the setbacks of doing moderate intensity is that if you're somebody who's trying to build muscle, uh, this wouldn't be a good form of cardio for you because you deplete your glycogen really fast. And then this basically takes all the water and sugar out of your muscles. And then you're basically burning through muscle, even though you are burning some body fat. Um, it's a little more tricky than that because there, it comes down to calorie manipulation and how much calories are actually going to suit that type of, of muscle growth. But I'll get to that in another video. Low intensity steady state cardio. This are, these are things like the Stairmaster, incline walking. Think of it like if you were on a treadmill and you put the incline at about a 12 to a 14, or let's just say 12 to 13, and the speed at about a 3.7 to a four. Now it's, it's challenging, but at the same time, you're able to maintain a conversation with somebody next to you. The perk of doing this is that uh, you will burn a lot of calories. It will not spike your metabolism if you're somebody who already has a fast metabolism. And what it does is since your metabolism isn't being spiked, you're going to burn through body fat cells much more efficiently than you would if you were doing high intensity interval training or moderate intensity steady state. All these words are so confusing, but um, there's so many different forms of cardio that can be fantastic for you. So my preference, I like doing HIIT training once a week because I think it's good to just do something that's gonna spike your metabolism and keep your body shocked. I think one of the main keys whenever you're trying to manipulate your body composition or just you know try to burn a little more body fat or build a little more muscle is just you want to always shock your body so i think throwing in hit training once a week is fantastic then i do moderate intensity for about 15 to 18 minutes once a week and then i'll have a longer duration where i basically will do it fasted after seven to eight hours i'll do it in the morning and this is really efficient for definitely uh, metabolizing your fat cells as opposed to burning through carbohydrates or muscles. So the key is though, out of all these different forms of cardio, you definitely want to be consistent. I'm a huge believer in consistency and that if you do things every single day, or if you do things to change it up, at the end of the day, if you're always consistent, you're going to see results. That's the number one thing. So pick a form of cardio that 
you can adapt to. And I must say this, if you're somebody who uh, is, not, is new to the gym and you've never worked out before, I'm never gonna recommend that you go into the gym and start doing sprints right away or you know jack up your heart rate back and forth because you're not used to doing that. So if you're somebody who's never been to the gym before, you wanna start off slowly. You wanna ease into your workouts and then after a couple of months or a couple of weeks, then you could get to that point where you're doing it um, once a week or even twice a week if you like that type of training. And moderate intensity, lower intensity, this is fantastic for people that are uh, accustomed to going to the gym and accustomed to working out. And uh, as long as you make sure you're eating a healthy breakfast or eating something before you go to the gym, preferably some great source of carbohydrates, that's going to be fantastic for uh, fulfilling these cardio needs. So at the end of the day, all these forms of cardio burn body fat. Uh, if I had to pick one that was the most efficient, I guess I would say probably hit training just because it's depleting your glycogen and you're going to spike your metabolism. And a huge uh, problem in this country is that uh, not enough people are getting sufficient nutrients and they're, um, they're doing the wrong form of exercise. And, and actually they're not doing any exercise uh, for that matter. So um, as long as you're getting into the gym first and then you get to that level where you're doing high intensity interval training, you're gonna be okay. So I hope this video helps you out, guys, and I definitely think all forms of cardio are fantastic. Just make sure you're staying consistent. Thank you so much, guys.